Welcome to Channel to Chaos and your very first C tutorial. Now, I'm gonna start with the first tutorial and I'm gonna cover up to 40 tutorials, alright, of C. Now, I am not the kind of a guy who covers up the theory part in programming because I think it's not necessary to understand the main concept of programming in C. So this is going to be a really, really easy to understand and really low level. So if you don't know any, any, absolutely anything about programming, this still would be really easy to understand. And I hope and I will try my best that you can understand these tutorials very easily. So first thing, a C program is written inside a compiler. Now, a compiler is basically where you write your program, alright, and it converts it into the binary. Now, the computer only understands binary, that's why we use a compiler in the first place. So, we all it does is takes all your code, put it into one place, converts it into binary, and then execute the program. So, that's why we use a compiler. Now, there are millions of compiler out there. There's Turbo C, there's CodeBlock, D Dev C++. I would recommend to stick with Dev C++ or the code block that I'm using right now, which are the best, uh, I would say, compilers out there, and these are all free, and would run on your latest or your really old operating system. So make sure you get your compiler installed. Then all you need to do is open a new file. All right. Once you open a new file, you will see this. Now this is totally weird for if you've seen the code the first time hash include stdi.h main with brackets and all that crap yeah it's kind of tricky to understand the starting but as you pick it up it would be really really simple so as you can see we have got a header file this is called as a header file we call this as a header file because we mention them in the top in the header part of the program anything on the top is a header right so this is the header this probably in the downside would be the footer so this thing is a header file so we are going to include a some file called stdio.h now this file contains something called function now these are function created by different programmers so it's really difficult to understand so that's why I'm not going to cover up this right now but this is something called a header file and this thing contains this file contains some functions that we're going to use inside our program now now what you'd really need to know in the first tutorial is something called main now main is somewhere something it's also a function which gets executed by your operating system so whenever I write my code and run the program what it's doing it's making the operating system is calling the main and the main executes alright so here is where you write your entire program between these two parentheses alright so here is where you write all the crappy code that you see in the movies or wherever you have seen the codes alright so here is where you write them so today we are going to learn how to display a message on a screen hello world basically so let's say print f so as I told you this file contains of some functions that are already designed by some programmers so printf is one of the function which is available in this file so printf is prints a particular message on your display print function this is a printing function the f stands for a function alright so we all we're going to put is two brackets in the front and a semicolon and quotation marks so this is what we call in programming language a syntax syntax is basically a format of a code a format of a statement sorry not of a code this is a function okay a function that is designed by programmers this statement you can also call this as a statement has this particular format
you cannot change the format of this function you cannot change the format of this statement you can never change that because this is designed by the previous programmers and you cannot change it unless you change this file all right we don't want to get into that mess right now so printf is a function used to print a message on your display now the easiest way to you know to understand this syntax is by doing a lot of examples so the first program hello world I don't know why people start with this program but I'm gonna do as other people do alright so as you can see I run the program and it says hello world don't bother this crap alright this is just normal this will come in all the programs that you design from here on alright so just don't get into that mess right now it says hello world that's what it's important right so this is as I told you the syntax inside these quotation marks whatever we type in let's say uh, compiler it would display on your command screen compiler <coughs> we type in let's say iPhone and make sure see we have added a caps lock over here and we run the program wait a second sorry I forgot the quotation marks as you can see I got an error and the program wouldn't run because it's not in the correct format so we add that and we run the program and it says iPhone as you can see even caps lock are detected so this is the first tutorial this explains that how this print function works with this stdio.h file but you don't need to get into the header file right now as I told in this program like a million times all you need to understand is printf which is the mm, I think so the best function in programming in C it does a lot more than just displaying messages on the screen we will learn that in the future but all you need to know is that this thing prints a message on your display that's all you need to know of the first tutorial so anyway this has been your channel Dr. Chaos I hope you like this video rate comment and subscribe thank you very much